John Turner. I'm the Vice President of Innovative Solutions at GAFCON. We work with owners who want to deliver their construction programs more safely and to a higher quality, but at a lower cost and faster. BIM is an essential part of what we do. Not so much BIM as a technology, but the process by which we apply BIM to the whole construction program. A large part of the, the use of BIM as a technology is to make sure we're not reinventing the, the building every single time. So we're always looking for the commonality in the building process. And as soon as we get something like uh, an electrical room that we're going to use over and over again, not just the, the BIM, the visual elements, but also all the attribute data, all the specifications, the operations manuals, everything can be packaged together within BIM object. So within the, the design process, we're hoping to reduce the, the time of design to 25%. We call those components assemblies. Those assemblies can be put together from a number of different manufacturers, and it could be something like an electrical room, or it could be something like an operating room within a hospital. Within the construction process, our focus is on the, the data. We have to approve the specification of every piece of equipment. And we also have to produce something called a submittal, which is all the associated documentation. Normally, this is a very manual process, and we believe that the use of BIM object will completely eliminate all the, the manual elements of this process. Within facilities management, we're focusing on what we call facilities activation. We can bring them into the, the modern workflow through the BIM design, BIM in construction process. But the only way that we are able to do that for existing facilities is then to, to scan, to produce a digital twin model of the building, and then associate the data we're finding back in that model of all the equipment back into the relationship in, in BIM object. So data is very important within the process as long as it's in a form that will allow all the participants in the process to collaborate. So data standards are absolutely critical. Every system normally produces data in its own form. To have that data resident in BIM object but able to be shared by all participants through their applications in a collaborative manner allows us to reduce the, the cost of transposing that data, converting it into a, a different form. We don't want to burden the authoring system with data and so slow down the, the response to the visualization aspects. So BIM object gives us the, the benefit of externalizing all that data, but keeping it in synchronization with the BIM as we go right the way through the life cycle, design, construction into facilities. So there are so many moving parts, so many different components, so many uh, different players, that unless everyone is kept in synchronization, it's very easy to get into some very large inefficiencies. The technology is available to do this now. It's the organizational change management. That really demands a very different contracting mechanism, a very different legal framework to make sure that everyone is incented to benefit and at the end of the day, everyone can make higher margins through the use of this technology.